In the IPA, there is one phonetic character that should be removed. This video will go over why. You may like this character, but bear with me because in one situation it's a very good choice. This character you can see mostly stands for a Swedish phoneme that we could call the hu sound. Its definition on the official IPA sheet is simultaneous sh and h. But is that really true? In Swedish, the pronunciation of this phoneme differs region by region. It is possible to pronounce it as hu or as fu or as something like shu. However, none of these pronunciations are sh and h at the same time. If anything, they are either sh or h. This seems to confuse a phonetic definition of a place of articulation with an allophonic alternation. The point of this video is that this particular phonetic character stands for no phonetic value but a phoneme in the Swedish language. So there is nothing wrong with using it for this Swedish phoneme with many different pronunciations. But when you're not transcribing phonologically, when you're not transcribing the meaning distinguishing units, but when you're using a phonetic transcription, so when you're transcribing what is actually pronounced, this character stands for no real place of articulation. So if you reserve this useful character for phonological transcriptions in Swedish and possibly other languages where you have where you have an allophonic alternation between a dorsal fricative like h and a coronal fricative like sh this character can be useful but its definition has to be changed from simultaneous sh and h to one that does not indicate that these two independent possible pronunciations occur at the same time and also since it has no unambiguous concrete phonetic value it should not be included in the official international phonetic character set thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time